what we're going to do now is learn how to print just a few note cards at a time. You'll notice I've made a pile called MLK Context. Those are for our lesson this morning. Um, we're going to be creating a paragraph about historical context for Martin Luther King Jr. So I've created a pile of note cards that I want to print for you guys for this lesson. All I need to do is go ahead and hit the print key and I like to export it as a web page. There's no issues with um, converting files. Press Submit. And then I'm instead of doing all note cards, I'm going to just do the note cards from the pile MLK Context. You'll notice what happens is it'll bring you up what note card items to print. Only print the source. Uh, you can uncheck the boxes you do not want to see. And I've unchecked everything except for the source, the quotation, the paraphrase, and my ideas. Those are all I need to start writing. And it will eliminate a lot of visual clutter as I'm trying to figure out what I want to put in my paragraph. So I'm going to press Submit. And then if you'll notice, you can see part of the screen where um, one of the first cards uh, has popped up. We've got the MLK context, which is the name of the pile, college years, which is the name of the note card, the source, a quote, paraphrase, and my ideas. And we're ready to print. The way I like to print is by right-clicking and pressing the print key. You'll get a, a sample page over here. You can choose your settings here. You can choose where you want it to print here. Um, and then simply would press print, which I'm not going to do because I don't need to do it. All right, hopefully that answers your questions.